What killed thousands of fish in Oneida Lake? It's one of your stories. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith tells us it is a mystery experts are actively working to solve. Chrissy McDermott lives along the south shore of Oneida Lake. She sent the Your Stories team these photos over the weekend of dead fish floating near her home. She tells us, I sat on the dock for 35 minutes and took pictures of 15 dead fish floating past our dock. Before I left, I could see four more in the distance heading our way. According to Tony Vandevalk, coordinator of Cornell's Oneida Lake Fisheries Program, his team received the first reports of dead shad washing ashore at the end of May. We did find a few dead fish, but nothing that was too alarming. On the second investigation, we literally found hundreds of dead fish, and they were all adult gizzard shad. So there's one right there. That's a dead gizzard shad right there. It's been dead quite a while. Um, it's fairly far along in the rotting process, but that's about half the size of what that fish was. So uh, clearly an adult and clearly happened a couple weeks ago. It's not uncommon to see a handful of dead fish along shorelines in the springtime, but Vandevalk says this widespread die off is rare and the cause remains a mystery. It's very unusual. I've never seen an adult shad kill like this, and I've been here for over 30 years. Um, we don't know the reason. That's why we collected some specimens and sent them down to the vet school. It could be environmental, it could be viral, it could be bacterial. We just don't know. At this time, Vandevalk doesn't believe there are any health risks when it comes to swimming or boating on Oneida Lake. As for seeing more dead fish, he thinks things have died off entirely. In Bridgeport, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Real mystery results from Cornell University's investigation are expected later this month.